Sports are about gaining a competitive advantage. And uh, for so long as the traditional ways of, of gaining an advantage is through, through harder training. In the game of basketball, which I played, it was honing your jump shot. It was working harder in the weight room to uh, become faster, jump a little higher. I was lucky to, to sort of grow up in sort of the golden age of analytics as it pertains to, to basketball and the age, and the, really the emergence of, of big data in sports. The way I look at it is it's just another way, like honing your jump shot or honing your jump hook or, or getting faster or stronger to gain a competitive advantage on the basketball court, this time using numbers and data. Before I really learned uh, analytics, I tried to guard a guy like Kobe Bryant, who in my estimation was the toughest competitor that I, that I ever played against. And all I had to rely on was a, a, the old eyeball test scouting report. Yeah, Kobe's got a really good right hand. Uh, you have to keep him out of the painted area. He's a great finisher. So yeah, any Joe Schmo fan could, could tell you those things. Uh, but after studying and going through the school of analytics, I knew exactly to a T who Kobe Bryant was. And I knew as a defender trying to stop him, Kobe's worst case scenario and my best case scenario was to make him shoot a pull-up jumper going to his left hand, all right? The average possession of the Los Angeles Lakers in uh, 2008 was uh, generated 0.98 points per possession. 0.98, so you took the average possession of the Lakers, they were gonna score 0.98 points every time they had a possession. And so Kobe Bryant only shot the left-handed pull-up jumper at a 44% clip. So every time that he went left and shot that pull-up jumper, he was generating 0.88 points per possession. Well, that's a tenth of a point less than the average Laker possession. And so if I could make him do that <laughs> time and time again, which is a lot tougher to, to do than to say, I'm shaving off a tenth of a point every single time. I'm, I'm actually making him detrimental to his team. And the way you have to look at it is all these tenths of points, all right, add up. They add up here, they add up here, add up there. And all of a sudden, those tenths of a points become points. And in the NBA, as we all know, uh, the margin between wins and losses is very, very thin. So those tenths of points matter. And that's all it really is. It's no different than, than playing the stock market. You're trying to shave percentage points off your, off your risk. And if you can accumulate enough, guess what? You're going to do very well. And so guarding a guy like Kobe Bryant, uh, understanding exactly who he is, what his weakness is, uh, made me a much better defender and <laughs> allowed me to stick around the NBA for, for 13 years.